Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on here and make a quick intro because I forgot to do that um, for the video you're about to watch and school is closed today so I didn't have a chance to go and do this at school. So today's video is going to be how I make a unit binder full of all of my plans. The plans that I did get for this unit binder are from TPT just because I didn't have enough plans for ratios from last year to pull from so I went ahead and got some from TPT but you can use any plans any amount of plans to create this unit binder but I just wanted to show you guys how I make a unit binder okay so I'm gonna use a binder my plans and then the type of folders that snap into the binder you could also use pocket protectors or dividers or anything like that but I want to put them in folders that way I don't have to hole punch them Okay, so the first few papers are just the pacing guides, the overview. I think I have a couple of answer keys in here, and then there's also the standards and objectives and things like that. Those things I'm gonna keep out, and they're gonna go in the front pocket of the binder. So then you're gonna wanna divide all of your resources into days or whenever you're gonna be doing the topic. So I pretty much have one topic per day. So the first thing is the intro to ratios handout that the TPT seller gave and then the homework. So we'll have this and this. I also have these, where to go? I like to start out with notes. So we actually started out with these ratio notes. So I would do notes, then a little intro activity. We did the room walk so this is just my answer key to the room walk and then I've got some extra copies and then we would go into the handout so we go notes room walk handout then the homework and then I would have all of my teacher copies that way I have all of it in one unit okay so then I'm gonna grab a folder and then on one side are gonna be the student copies or in this case the notes as well because right now the notes for this and the extra copies for this are my late work bin. After I'm done with the late work bin, I'll pull those extra copies and they'll go in another folder. And then the answer keys, I'll go on this side. So again, once I get the extra copies of the ratios notes, this answer key part will go over here, but just to remind myself to get the ratio notes, it's all gonna go like that. And so this is day one. I'm actually going to get a post-it and I'm going to write day one. That way I know what day it is. And then I'm also going to go ahead and write a post-it about these handouts. Yesterday when we went through them, I haven't gone through all of them, so I'll do this as I'm going through them. But yesterday my kids did not like this um, question mainly because of the A, B, C, and D was really difficult for them to answer and it was hard for me to explain because they all had different answers so they liked that they could use the pencil and paper clip to spin the spinner and then make a tally and then make ratios but I think next time I would change these to be what's the ratio of A to B, A to D or all those different things so I'm going to write a note that way I remember to change that for next year. So I'm just gonna write myself a little note, that way I remember, and then put the paper back on it, and then all that is ratios day one. Now, of course, this actually ended up taking me two days, but this is like day one as far as the intro to ratios. So I'm actually gonna write that on here as well. Intro to ratios. That way I could split this up into two days if I need to next year. Okay, now because I haven't gotten to the rest of these, right now they're just all paper clipped, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the rest of my folders, um, but I won't be making any notes or anything like that.
stay it's ratio application so it's just a lot of practice and i really love this worksheet and uh, particularly so it has the handout it has the homework and then there's also a quiz so we're also going to have a quiz that day so i'm going to make sure that i make a note that the quiz is in day four some changes to the actual unit test so I won't keep this like as the same I won't make copies from this one but I am going to keep it just to have and so I'll probably have to change up the study guide as well are in here I can easily just flip through find the folder that I want and then just pull the whole thing out rather than having to pull individual sheets out so I really like this method and yeah that's how I make a unit binder that was it for this one guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more and I'll see you in my next one okay bye